Hi guys, we're here at the Geneva Motor Show and I'm joined by Christian von Koenigsegg, the man himself who is going to show us the Regera. My pleasure, yes. This is our new baby, the Regera. A very good looking new baby. Thank you. We've been working really hard for the last eight months to create this car. It's based on an idea I had basically beginning of uh, last summer. I came up with an idea where we could remove the traditional gearbox from the equation due to novel battery and electric motor technology that's become so compact and light that in combination with uh, our powerful uh, combustion engine, we have all the torque and power we need at any speed without a transmission. So suddenly that made me very interested in doing something I don't like to do, which is a hybrid. Yes, <laughs> okay. Tra traditional hybrids I don't like because they're either, either very compromised when it comes to weight, complexity, having kind of two drivetrains in one car, with whatever that means in, in cost and weight and space. Or the other alternative, we have a series hybrid, which is quite compact and, uh, and uh, space efficient, but you have the negativity of converting energy too many times from combustion to electric back to uh, pro mechanical propulsion, so you have a lot of losses with that. So this way, we could remove the transmission and have as few components as a series hybrid, but with direct drive, where we don't convert the combustion engine's uh, motion into electricity and then to propulsion. It actually goes straight to the wheels through the final drive, with, with, with the support of electrical motors. One electrical motor on the crankshaft with uh, 165 kilowatts and two 180 kilowatt um, electrical motors for each rear wheel after the final drive. And they work together and dance with the combustion engine to give the correct power and torque at any given speed. So put that into perspective, this car accelerates zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 2.8 seconds. That's reasonably fast, like most of these other cars. It's only rear wheel drive, so we can't really better that very much. But what's interesting is, for example, 150 to 250 kilometers per hour, we can do in 3.2 seconds, or zero to 300 kilometers per hour in 12.3 seconds, or zero to 400 in around 19 seconds. And the top speed is where our RPM limiter is, because it's direct drive from the combustion engine, so RPM and speed follow each other exactly all the time. And top speed is 410 when we hit the rev limiter at high acceleration speeds. Okay. So that's kind of how that works. And actually when you're driving on the highway and cruising, you can put the electrical motors into what Tesla calls torque sleep. They're just rotating together with the assemblies doing nothing. And then you have the world's first car. That's a combustion engine that is connected directly to the rear axle and to the rear wheel with no transmission, with no support. And thereby you remove 5% transmission losses that you otherwise would have if you had a transmission. So it's actually energy efficient, compact, and gives you astounding performance. So in total it's 700 horsepower electrical motors and 1100 horsepower combustion engine. So if you add that together you would expect 1800 horsepower and that's of course crazy. But that's not what happens because the power peaks are spread out in the RPM range between the motors. So they don't stack up on top of each other but next to each other. So the peak becomes 1500 horsepower but with a torque swell that's enormous due to the spread out power peaks. So we actually have 2000 newton meters of torque from 2500 RPM to 7000 RPM, okay. which is just incredible. So no need for gears. And to make people understand what it feels like to drive, anyone who's driven a high powered electric car like a Tesla knows the fun and excitement of the direct drive of a high powered electric car, that you have this instant response in the throttle and this instant torque burst, and that more than compensates for the lack of the fun of shifting, which is also great fun. But this car then has more electric horsepower than a Tesla P85D, which is a two-ton car that accelerates zero to 100 in 3.2 seconds. It has more, but it's more than four or 500 kilos lighter than that car, plus it has a combustion engine with 1,100 horsepower on top of that. So that kind of puts it into perspective what it can do and what it will feel like if you have some imagination. Oh yes, I can imagine. So on top of this propulsion system, which is very unique and exciting to us, we have new carbon fiber wheels, uh, hollow again with a completely different design. As we now got into this technology, we think it's fun to showcase the next level. Of course, the bodywork is completely reworked. It's a longer car, it's a sleeker, more elegant car. Again, we have a top-mounted active rear wing, but this time fully foldable. 
uh, we have really high intensity LED high and low beam. You can see 350 meters ahead of you with a high beam. We've, we had some fun with the DRL, so we made what we call constellation DRLs with actually star constellations, so you can yes. find your you can find your Leo or your Aquarius, yeah, whatever. In that, it's just for fun kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned the rear wing. It's now fully foldable, uh, top-mounted active rear wing. Uh, the doors are soft closing now, so you just drop them down and they pull to lock themselves. Okay. And the, there is an option for the car, which this car will be fitted with two weeks after the show, which is a fully robotized body. You don't touch the doors to open and close them, you don't touch the front and rear bonnet, and there is like a parking sensor in front of the door, so it senses if there is an object coming, so it stops. So you can't hit anything with it. Okay. And, and the weight of that robotized bodywork system is only six kilos, because we utilize the hydraulics power and hydraulic liquid from the from the uh, uh, chassis ride height system so we only need very tiny actuators and, and uh, hydraulic hoses uh, replacing the gas ruts in the doors and in the bonnets so they actually are forced open and closed with hydraulics okay. and we have a completely new interior um, let's go and have loose, a quick look in the uh, yes peek inside so the seats are electrically adjustable carbon seats six way uh, they only weigh 15.8 kilos, so really, really lightweight for being electrical. So we don't really want weight penalty for all the luxury. But it's also much more quiet. We have this super thick sound insulation back here. And the engine and transmission is rubber mounted for the first time instead of solidly mounted on active uh, engine mounts. So the interior uh, sound level in here is, from our point of view, even lower than the Bugatti Veyron. So that's a new for Koenigsegg as well. Then we have this fantastic 9-inch touchscreen, which will operate on the other side. You can also see the center console is much wider because there's a battery pack here of 9.27 kilowatts. It's a new kind of technology which is called fully flooded, which improves cooling drastically. So given that Given that, we can extract 500 kilowatts from the battery pack, even though it's only 9 kilowatts. So I'll show you the screen here. It's really quick and reactive. It's a Swedish patent from Neonode, so you, you can even use gloves or you can use whatever you want. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Look, look at this. I will do it with my phone. Look. Okay. You, you, you can have, you don't need, it's not capacitive, so it's much darker, there's not a capacitive screen. It's a thin infrared uh, uh, network of uh, lighting going across that sees your fingertip or whatever you point okay. at it. So see all sorts of exciting options in the menu. Yeah, there. this is just for show now, but you can you can see what you're playing. So the windows will go up and down with, with the help of this. You can see if you want to just bring your window down halfway. You have the seat adjustability here, you have pre-active setup. Uh, the wing mirrors, the stereo, uh, you have a, a pre-active uh, chassis setup, Apple CarPlay, Apple navigation, etc, etc. Uh, we have a new roof locking system that is much faster, just flick them up and down. As per the previous models, the roof can still be stowed in the front? Yes, it can be stowed in the front. It's the one right. sort of distinctive feature of the car that's exactly. very much a Koenigsegg, is this double bubble roof. And some of you guys know that we uh, worked with Saab for taking that over, and one of the things I like about the Saab is their funky vent system. So uh, this is a homage to Saab, where we have joystick control, very elegant... Okay, uh, yes. Um, Swedish style, let's call it, uh, yes. <laughs> vent system. Uh, we have a new screen in front, which is not mounted to the steering column anymore. Uh, now it's mounted to the dash to make a more elegant look. Um, Some very nice looking pedals down here too. Exactly, and we had to change the footwell of the car because the central tunnel is so much wider, given the battery pack in the center, so we had to push out the chassis to the side to have the same uh, footwell as we used to have. So it's also pretty much a completely new monocoque in the car. Okay, let's pop back out. This is the plug-in port, a little bit James Bond style, perhaps. Yes. And uh, if you wanna, don't want to show your number plate, you know. <laughs> you can fold it down. To push. <laughs> so tell me, what else do we have going on down here? Yeah, so <clears throat> what looks like the exhaust is actually a hot air outlet for the uh, electric motors and electric motor inverters. Okay. So it's uh, like a fan blowing hot air through radiators there. The exhaust is actually on the sides. And it's a, a fishtail design I came up with that has a shorted route from the engine to the back of the car that actually helps out aerodynamically. But more important, it's very light, very low back pressure, and 
It gives a fantastic distinctive sound as you get resonance from the flat car, uh, titanium walls. So 4,000 RPM sounds like 8,000 RPM. Okay. And that's very important on a car which can only reach top RPM at top speed as it's direct drive. So you need an exciting sound by just pushing the throttle at any RPM. So when you get, okay. the, when you get the power going, you get the resonance going in the exosystem that gives you excitement. I understand, okay. Well, there's different things you have to think about doing the car so completely differently. That's it. That's it. Well, so of course, the big debate will be, is it fun to drive without shifting? But I am so convinced after driving a lot of powerful electric cars that the directness and control and responsiveness of this way outweighs the fun of shifting. Right. Oh. You can see also it's actively cooled lighting system. You have a little fan running in there. Okay. Right. Yeah, Absolutely fantastic. It. Thank you very much for My that pleasure. quick run through. Um, I hope you enjoyed that sort of complete overview look at this truly fantastic car. So thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you soon. Cheers. I hope you're enjoying my content from this year's Geneva Motor Show. Be sure to check out videos of all of the other new releases right here on the Shmi 150 channel. And of course, be subscribed for plenty more supercar videos in the future. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheers.